you've got this race going on now in Florida, which is going to be a key uh, governor's race. And I, I, look, I think that the Republican is going to pull this off. But if if he loses, I mean, that is a huge, huge indication that I'm right about the blue wave that's coming, especially in 2020, because, you know, Florida is a key state and Trump won Florida and he's president. I think the old saying is that a Republican can't win the White House without winning Florida. Remember, Florida is what gave the uh, the presidency uh, to uh, George W. Bush and denied it to Al Gore. Remember the hanging chads? That was all down in Florida. Uh, so if a Trump-backed candidate loses to a socialist, I mean, that is over the top. Now, I, I don't actually think that that's going to happen, uh, but we'll see. I mean, it's certainly not impossible, but at this point, I don't think it's likely, but you know, we'll see. I mean, this is going to be an ugly ugly race. I mean, that's for sure. And if you want to get an idea of how ugly, you could just look at the story that's going around today, which is you you can pull this uh, page from the book of, you know, there's no way you could believe something could actually happen like this. So anyway, uh, Ron is talking and he's saying, and I don't know the exact words, but, you know, something like this. So he's talking about why we shouldn't go out on a limb and elect a guy like Andrew Gillum, you know, a socialist, to to run the state because the state is doing well, the economy is doing well, and he doesn't want Andrew Gollum to screw it all up, right? To have a socialist come in and wreck a good thing. But he chose a different word. He said that he didn't want Andrew Gillum to monkey it up, right? To monkey around with the economy, right? Throw a monkey wrench in it. and and screwed up by monkeying around with a good economy, right? He used the word monkey. Well, Andrew Gillum happens to be black. So, of course, he chose the word monkey because he was calling Andrew Gillum a monkey. So, in other words, Ron DeSantis is a racist, right? And the reason that he chose the word monkey is because he deliberately wanted to refer to Andrew Gillum as a monkey. And so it's not that his socialists policies were going to monkey things up. He himself, being black, was going to monkey stuff up. So what he was really saying is is we don't want a black person to be the governor of the state because a black person is going to screw it all up. He's not criticizing his blackness. He's criticizing his socialist policies, and he happened to choose a word like monkey, monkey around. I mean, you know, that, that has nothing to do with race. It has to do with monkeys and how monkeys act and where these expressions come from right you know we're gonna he's you know monkeying around or monkey it up or throw a monkey wrench in right because monkeys you know if you ever look at how monkeys act they go in and they make a mess they screw you know they're just like you know little kids and they throw things around and you know you put monkeys loose in, in your apartment you come back what do you expect i mean they're going to tear the place apart right it's got nothing to do with race but of course a racist press and the racist opponents it's the racist on the left that the minute they hear the word monkey, immediately think about black. Why? I mean, what 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 is there that that blacks and monkeys have in common? That the minute you hear the word monkey, you immediately think black. Because I don't think Ron DeSantis thought about it at all. I mean, there's no way. I mean, if he really was a racist, right, and thought black people were like monkeys, you think he would be cautious? He would make sure. Right. Not to use that word. He would he would be extra careful because he wouldn't want to let the cat out of the bag that he was a racist. I mean, wait a minute. Maybe maybe is I mean, that's probably racist, too. Right. Let the cat out of the bag. Right. I mean, because they got black cats. Right. That's probably why people think that saying monkey is racist, because a lot of monkeys are black or brown. So, I mean, there are black cats. I mean, you know, so let the cat out of the bag. I mean, is that racist? I mean, what if what if there's a black woman and I say she's catty? You know, am I being a racist or am I being a sexist or am I being both? I mean, so do we have to eliminate the word monkey, right? I mean, can I say that somebody is horsing around? Does that make me a racist? Because, you know, they got black horses, right? Or, you know, what about he, he's an animal? Can I call somebody an animal if they happen to be black, right? I mean, I can call a white person an animal, but if I call a black person an animal, does does that make me a racist? Look, you know, monkeys are not all black. I mean, you know, they got they got orange monkeys, they got golden monkeys, right? 
They even got white monkeys. You ever seen it? You know, go Google them. I mean, they're cute. There's plenty of white monkeys. I think they're rare, but they have them. I mean, basically, if you're just going to assume that when someone says black monkey, they're talking about blacks, you're actually being racist against monkeys. You're just assuming that all monkeys are black when they're not. There are white monkeys. But, you know, if you actually look at a picture of a monkey, you're looking at a chimpanzee, right? I'm, I'm Googling one now. I'm, I'm pulling up a chimpanzee. Because I guess the whole idea is that when you say monkey, the reason that it's an insult to blacks is because you're saying black people are like monkeys, right? But maybe they look like monkeys. But if you actually look at a monkey, I mean, they don't necessarily look like they're black or white. I mean, they don't look like a human. I mean, yeah, they look similar. We have 99% of our DNA is similar to like a chimp. So yes, I mean, they look like us closer to any other animal. I mean, they have heads like us and they have limbs and hands and fingers. And there's a lot of things about monkeys that are like humans, but they're no more like black humans than they are like white humans. As I already said, right, there are monkeys come in all colors. So even if the majority of monkeys are some shade of brown, right, a lot of them are very light in color. Right. So they're not all the same. But if you actually look at their features, I mean, I'm looking at this picture now of these monkeys. And I guess you could say if you look at the nose of a chimp, I would say, yeah, I would say the nose of a chimp is more similar to the nose of a black guy. I mean, if you know, not all black guys, of course, but, you know, black guys tend to have wider noses and these monkeys look like they have wider noses. But then if you look at the lips, the lips look like they're white because they have very thin lips. Right. They have white people's lips. Black people have full lips, plumper lips. So, I mean, white people's lips look a lot more like monkey lips than a black person. Now, I guess if you look at the shape of their skull, the shape of their head is a little bit more elongated, which is, I think, a little bit more similar to a black skull than, than a white skull. But look at their hair. The hair is very straight. I mean, that's white, right? White people have straighter hair. Black people have really curly hair. So monkey's hair looks a lot more like a white person than a black person. So, I mean, I can't even argue looking at a monkey objectively to say that it's more like a white person than a black person or a black person, a white person. It's like a monkey. A chimp is like a monkey or an orangutan or a gorilla or these little monkeys. They're monkeys. (laughs) It's a racist who every time he hears the word monkey automatically thinks of a black person. That's the racist, not Don DeSantis. He just thinks of a monkey as a monkey and he thinks of people as people. But you got this group out there. Now, of course, I think a lot of the people on the left know damn well that Ron DeSantis did not mean anything racist by his comment, right? He was just talking. But they want to make him out like he's a racist. But again, all this does is make the actual racist, it lets the real racist off the hook. Again, it's like this, you know, everybody's a sexual harasser, right? You, you, you pat a girl on the butt and that's sexual harassment. You're going to jail. That's abuse. That's all right. It diminishes real harassment and real abuse. When you call a guy racist because he says monkey around and the person who's going to monkey around just happens to be black. And now you want to say this guy's a racist then you're letting the actual racist off the hook. But you're bringing racists into this like you're playing the race card like, aha, that's the Trump card, right? No pun intended, right? Once you play that card, all bets are off, right? Everybody's afraid because now if you defend this guy, if you defend Ron DeSantis, well, you're a racist too, right? That's the problem. They know that. The left knows that. They look for every opportunity to play this race card. In fact, I was watching on Fox News, Sandra Smith, who I also know and who I like. I've met her many times. Um, So Sandra Smith is reporting. I don't know if she's just saying this or she's reading what's on a teleprompter, but she's reporting on the story. And then she reads the Ron DeSantis explanation, which of course is perfect explanation of why he meant nothing racist about it at all, that it's absurd to actually read that into it. But then after she finished, she went out of her way to say that Fox News does not condone the language he used. Why? I mean, what language? He used the word monkey. That is not a bad word. Monkey is not a racist word monkeying around, monkeying it up is a well-known expression. The expression is derived from monkeys, 